live not even 40, but double that bitch <laughs> and no fucking money. That means I got to go through all my shit. <laughs> Paycheck to paycheck. At least I could. At least I could cut my life span in half and do everything I wanted to do. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. But here we all go. Yo, we is about to do a video on would you rather or not. Hey, the challenge is if we pick something that has the less percentage, we gonna have to take a shot of hot sauce. Let right me show up. you the hot sauce right here, and also it is your boy, Bashy the guy, aka yeah, Young right. of the legendary Matt Fox. But y'all already knew that, cause y'all. Yep, you hear by the voice. Well, let's get, focus that in there. I can't even see damn shit. You let it focus real quick. Texas P, y'all, you already see the Texas P. Y'all look at the level of this shit though. This I know it came from Black Hound. Look, look how much is in it. No, focus. Yeah, that bitch is living like right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we gotta take this chill. We gonna probably win most of that shit, so we ain't worried about it. Yeah. I need to stop drinking this beer though, cause I don't know how that shit gonna react to my stomach. Fuck it. What the? F oh okay. man, shit. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you reading it? We'll be able to kill anybody by writing their name in a notebook, or Definitely. be able to kill anybody. By injury, illness, or revived dead, versus a kiss. What? I'm not. What? Mm, okay, so it's basically saying you can heal anybody from any injury, illnesses, and know. revive them. I know oh. that, but the thing is, I'm saying what? Because of kiss. I'm yeah, not about that's to... <laughs> uh, that's where it got me, and I was like, ah, I'm, I'm, this is a solid option until I saw via kiss. Is it be able to kill anybody by writing their name in a notebook? I mean, that's well, some death note type shit. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if I need to kill somebody, I just write the name down. Mm -hmm. I mean, another thing too. Damn, if somebody do die though, but right, it ain't gonna be oh, shit. Yeah, I ain't kissing no one of my niggas. No. <laughs> that's fact. Let them know. Because that's that's the thing about this though. Because we ain't never in a situation where we need to write a nigga name in a notebook. But at the same time, I will for sure write a nigga name in a notebook for the person I have to kiss someone. Yeah. I'm done male. Females, I'm fine with. You going with blue? Yep. I'm going for blue I'm my damn blue side. Blue. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, already, it already starts. Nigga. Well, damn. Hey, cuz, hey, this it, it changed my mind. Anyway. Nah, it's too late. Alright, for the first drop. <laughs> What you gotta see? We got a little dab. We starting small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. A little dab. A little dab. All right. On, on count three. three. One, two. Oh, you, I think. You oh, count, okay. I'll count down. You count up. Oh, yeah. count up. <laughs> Fuck it. We're gonna count you. Fuck it, nigga. Yep. Mmm. Tastes delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, you get this down out the way. Yep. No, no. <laughs> 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 oh, bro, I don't mess with Yep, go ahead. If you go hit a spoon, I'm gonna hit a spoon. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. That shit ain't that bad. Not bad. But we still got more of that shit to do. <laughs> oh, damn. All right. Be a third string quarterback for the bad for a bad NFL team or be an MVP quarterback for an arena football team. What's what's the difference? I mean I know the difference of bad NFL team, but what, what the fuck is an arena football team? I have I well I'ma go with context clues. Arena, I'm pretty sure it's like arena stadium type football deal versus So I'm guessing then. I mean you could can you can you get I mean, you get recognized in a, uh, you know, arena football. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. It's an NFL and you got football. Because it's yeah. two different. It, yeah. Because I know soccer is football, too, at the same time. The yeah. NFL is. Because, see, this is blue specific. It says play for a bad NFL team. This says play for an arena football team. Hey, I, my fact, I'm going with the bad one. Because, no one, hey, if them niggas bad and I'm good. And I'm out shining, nigga. You yeah, right about nigga. it. Hey. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Cause I was like, I was like, okay, you can be a third string quarterback and be fire at it, and even though your team is trash, and you still get mm -hmm. exposed, cause you're like, okay, that person is good. I, I stand more than everybody else. Mm-hmm. So yeah, going bad. Fuck 
y'all niggas. Who the fuck pick? Who the? Okay. <laughs> Why everybody want to be great? It's okay. To, you know, just because. I mean, just because you're an MVP quarterback, that means your team is also good as well. And then, then even think about, then even think about, oh, okay, maybe, uh, you know, if I'm good or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, woo, woo, woo. Right. Niggas are like, oh, MVP quarterback? I don't want to be that. I no, bet you do. Be the third string quarterback, third string, and shit, you going to go far. Not as far, but you'll go as far. All right, bounds up. <laughs> I think I might need something stronger though. Ooh, ooh. It's not good though. It tastes good, but I got that fire. Nah. I, I ain't dark, but I'm going with what Jay Chart said. Mm -hmm. Dark niggas never fall over. <laughs> you right about that. I ain't as dark, but <laughs> dark enough. Alright. Be married to a Jersey Shore house, uh, housemaid or be married to a real house wife case member. What? Okay. Real house, real house wife case member. What is if I have a cast member, okay, I would say I say case member. I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize it until I, until you said. I was like, wait, he did say case. <laughs> I'm fucking okay. Can't read today. I don't know how I pass school. <laughs> I, think, I think it might be. I think that my hot sauce might be fucking up the reading and shit. Okay. Bitch, if you will. I would say I I know more <laughs> about the jurors. I don't even watch Jersey Shore, but I know a little bit more about the housemates versus a reality housewife. Because there's a lot of reality house shows, mm -hmm. and I don't watch none of them shits. So, just purely off knowledge and where would I go? Number one, I would not want to be married to none of them. Who the hell? Too bad. Too bad. Anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna go Jersey Shore housemates. I don't, I, realistically, I wouldn't marry none of them. Because they all pass my age. And. You got me beat on that one, because I don't know shit about them. Because I don't even, I don't even watch the real housewives yep. and stuff. I barely knew nothing about Jersey Shore, so. Mm -hmm. The only reason why I watched Jersey Shore, because at the time when it was. Jersey Shore was a thing. My brothers and family, was, some of them would turn that video on and watch it. And I'm just, I'm over there sitting there watching them like, y'all really, y'all niggas really enjoying this. But hey, to each his own. But I do know more Jersey Shore than I would ever know about Real Husband. How, what, what the fuck I just say? Real Housewives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go blue. All right, you going blue. I don't know my answer, so I didn't flip the coin. I saw quarters. Okay. So, quarters right here. So, I'm guessing heads is blue, red is uh, tails. Tails. Tails, I'm going red. Okay. You're going blue, I'm going red. All right. So, you ready to say the first answer? So, we're going blue. I ain't gotta take shit. Fuck. <laughs> yes. Nigga. <laughs> I guess more people know about housewives. Well, I'll marry you next day. <laughs> Nigga, shit. That coin oh. saved my life. Oh. Damn. The heart of the coin. Couldn't be me. Got a blast. <laughs> oh, it dash is spicy. All right. I see you selling. First of all, let me, who the fuck watches reality? <laughs> okay, never mind. I already know. Half the majority of y'all do. My mom, too. Mm hmm. A little bit sometimes. She don't care too much. Besides, Jersey Shore is old anyway. Yeah. You got the more people that watch fucking The Rifle Man. Mm hmm. <laughs> the fucking Golden Girl. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. Uh, I'm gonna put that meaning in real quick. <laughs> right. Okay. Would you be incredibly stupid but have the best luck or be incredibly genius and but have the worst luck? I'm gonna be stupid. Yeah. Because at the end of the day you could be genius as hell, but when your luck is bad, you, you can't get past that. That luck will beat your genius every time. That's just some supernatural shit. And then your your ass will turn into a super villain because that's what most villains have. They are incredibly genius, but have the worst luck. I swear. And and another thing too, being incredibly stupid, you can learn. To, you can learn. Mm-hmm. See, the thing is with incredibly genius, you already got the knowledge. You just have terrible luck. Yep. With being stupid, I can at least learn. educate myself. Yep. And have the best of luck. So yeah, we're going with blue. Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, I was about to say, if you chose to be a genius, I said, but you want worse luck? That luck will whoop your ass. You're going to become a whole villain now. I swear to God, that's the villain story right there. But yes, one out of t- three. All right, going to Titanium Survive or being in Twin Towers when hit and survive? Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I know that's terrible in both parts. Yes. But just imagine being surviving. That shit will be fucking fire if I was in either <laughs> of them bitches and I survive. I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I'd fucking dive out that window. I'd do some cool shit, punch another window, get in that bitch. I'm like, I'm like, nigga, I gotta get fuck out of here on the Titanic, nigga. Hey, East of Titanic is at least, okay, Twin Towers depends, damn. It depends on what floor you're on. Though. Yeah, depending yeah. on what floor you're on. If you're on top floor, you ain't gonna survive now unless you jump in that bitch. You Knowing know? me. If you ain't got my knee insurance, you're done. <laughs> so. Knee, ankle, and matter of fact, the whole overall body insurance, you know, we straight. But okay, because with me, my ass is not going all the way to the top of the floor. And if I am, I'm going up and getting my ass down. And knowing me, if I see a plane, let's say, okay, I don't know what they saw, I don't know who saw what, but if I saw that motherfucking plane, that's the motherfucking beeline and straight towards us. I'ma fucking flip everything and I'ma dart the fuck out that shit as quick as I can. Everybody gonna look like, what the fuck you doing? And they gonna see a fucking plane. They're like, oh shit. But at the Titanic though. The Titanic, you have a chance because I yep. mean unless you don't know how to swim, at least you could, you know, find something or find or, or get like a lifeboat. Or a raft. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you can, they always have them little, uh, what's them shit? Yeah, at least you have time for, you know, like, because it's slow. Mm-hmm. You know something's coming up. You like, you know what I'm saying? With the t- with the, t- the Twin Towers, if you're not on the floor to see the plane or you're, like, you're facing the wrong way, you, you're pretty much fucked. Yep. And if you're high enough up and everything below you is on fire or you can't get, get down, down yep. you, you're pretty much fucked. At least with the Titanic, you could jump off. off and jump into water. Yeah, and you could... You could take it's a 50 50 chance you're gonna survive the water mm-hmm. if, you, if you don't know how to swim, fucking instant's gonna kick in something, nigga. Mm-hmm. So, and, exactly. And the but it was cold in, in the Atlantic, so we might have to deal with that. But you have a better chance of surviving the Titanic than you then, would do the Twin Towers. Yeah, so, I'm sure. gonna go with Titanic. Yeah, I'm going with Titanic too. You little bitch ass niggas. <laughs> 10 percent, okay. Wow. Nigga. Pull y'all, me up, Scotty. <laughs> y'all, y'all really want y'all really want to be in the Twin Towers? Why that, bro? Y'all know y'all. There ain't no fucking soft shit on the ground, right? Yeah, nah, that's straight concrete, bro. That is... At least with the fucking water, you could, you know, survive, and then you might run into a dolphin or he a said, whale, <laughs> and they might save your life. Okay. I don't think a whale or a dolphin gonna save your life. If you hit concrete. Nah, the only one gonna save your life if Jesus let you into heaven. <laughs> you, better, <laughs> you better hope when you jump out that fucking window, Jesus got a bubble for you. He's like, That's boy, hop in this bubble real quick. You be safe. All right, cheers. Bro. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, my <laughs> mom pipe. Cool. Oh my god. Getting spicier every time. Hey, that shit, it tastes like a, it tastes like a. Uh, I don't know what it tastes like, but it tastes like something. It tastes <laughs> like. I feel like this is what the sun would taste like a little bit. <laughs> Take a bite, that be. Oh, the sun got a half, like a half moon. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. I took a chunk out of that bitch. Man. That shit was delicious. I put cheese on that thing and it mm-hmm. melted. Cheese right, <laughs> melted right on there. <laughs> Alright, he said, would you eat 50 celery sticks a day or eat 50 Brussels sprouts a day? This is easy. Celery sticks. I don't, I don't know what the hell a Brussels, Brussels sprout look like, but... You, know, you know them little um, small green vegetables and shit? They look kind of like uh, broccoli. broccoli. Yeah, those are Brussels sprouts. Is it white? Mm, oh, that's, ca- that's cauliflower. cauliflower. Oh, that's, yo, cauliflower is disgusting, bro. It has no taste. But I can eat a cauliflower before I eat a Brussels sprout, though. I, I, I can't eat none of that junk. But this ain't yeah, qualified. This is a celery stick. And and if we, I don't know, because I don't know what if this was a time period. But I remember when we kids, they used to give you celery stick. They give you the peanut butter or whatever, and the raisins, and you put the midges in there, and you eat the midges. Now that shit was delicious. I had ranch on my shit. Yeah, some people had ranch on theirs too. I was like, man, I, ain't, I can't eat ranch with that. 
peanut butter, that's just, it's, 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 it, nah, it's not, it don't go good with my taste buds. Not Forget fair. that. We good. Okay. Uh, I was about to grab the hot sauce. That's how we lost it. You was already prepared. Yeah, I was already prepared. Oh my God. Be naked in front of the whole family for three hours or run through downtown naked for five minutes. To be honest, none of these two options would ever apply to me, but since yeah, we're doing this it won't scenario. be. But, oh damn. Okay, the family probably seen you naked before. No one, your mom definitely seen you naked because she changed your damn diapers. But, it, dep it depends on the age. If if they're children and, and they'd be naked, that's That's fine. both. Okay, somebody could be having their children downtown. Mm -hmm. They see everything, so that's... But if, if it's asking us, if would we rather be... Right, I'm pretty sure it means like right now because we're reading it right now. Mm -hmm. Be naked in front of our whole family for three hours or run down the town naked for five minutes. If I, first of all, I'm not getting being, if I'm, as I am now, I'm not getting, I'm not being naked three hours in front of my parents or anybody in my family, none of that, because I don't want, that is a tough question. But also, another thing too, society now, if I run down naked five minutes, that's me going viral as fuck. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, at the same time, I don't want to be that viral with me running down naked, so that's, that's also a bad thing majorly yeah at least with my family it'd be probably like oh my god woo, woo. at least they'd cover their eyes if they like like ew, ew, come, cover yourself like but you're naked for a whole three hours though i mean another thing if i go downtown i mean bitch you might like damn yeah no, i mean that's what i'm saying because i mean i've seen videos where there are certain females that walk around naked yeah but also, I gotta worry about the cops too. They don't come at And we black. are black. You know? Yeah, so, so <laughs> we going, we getting shot going to jail. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with the family. I'm, yeah, I'm going with the I'm family. Going, I'm going, I'm going red. Uh, he going red. I'm going blue. I also, I'm taking one. Because <laughs> <laughs> I knew no one, no one wants to be naked in front of their family, bro. I mean, yeah, but at least, at least I ain't gotta see them naked. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't give a damn, but. But I want to say. There's nothing wrong with being naked. If you wouldn't ask a lion to put clothes on. I don't know what the hell that meant, but whatever. I don't know either. I just, I just pulled me up with the thing. Ah. Oh, good. Ooh, is it spice at the bottom? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh my god. Because that's what I've been getting hit with mostly spice and season. Ooh, tastes sounds good though, I ain't gonna lie. It does. It's gonna clear up all the sinus infection as well. It is. I hope I don't throw up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, right? Yes. Oh my god. Okay, showing your opponent along for the entire fight. A question from the beginning. Hmm. Okay, so basically, what they. I don't instantly say blue because that reminds me of anime and shit like that, and also, she. I mean, if we have an old uh, one-on-one -on -one and we boxing, we box boxing. Yeah, I'll, I'll entertain it and string them along. Because if you crush them, for me, if you crush them immediately, you don't see what they what they got going on. And shit, they might they might be able to give you run for your money. So you're like, oh shit. You should give me run for your money in the beginning. You should have, but you know, it might be, that's why the anime thing where it comes up, it builds up. It's like, first they start bullshitting, fighting, and then until one person start turning up and then they like, Okay, now it's time. Now it's time to, for me to get serious. I mean, I mean, suppose you gotta be at work at five. You know what I'm saying? And like, <laughs> fight is like four thirty. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh yeah, then yeah. yeah I, well, with that logic, yes, I can understand that you gotta be at work. Like, well, I got a job. I can't quit this job. I get this money. <laughs> well, you, know, you got a date or some shit. You know, you know, something could be important. You know, it depends. Well, you like, you my, my child about to be born in thirty minutes. Hey, he, he probably here to assassinate you, you know what I'm saying? He probably just keep, you know, keep it. Try to pull over so the nigga the sniper get get get, get in position. Ah, oh, yeah. Anything can okay. happen. Okay, well, we, if we put in that scenario where it's like like a job or a child or something like that, I would I would, I would for sure crush them at the beginning. But suppose I don't feel like doing this shit. Suppose I got a headache. Like, I don't feel like doing it. I'm just going to beat the shit out of this nigga. <laughs> that is true. Because if I did have a headache, I would have been like, I don't have time for you. <laughs> I got shit to do and places to be. So yeah, we I'll crush them from the beginning. You sure? Yeah. 
I ain't trying to deviate from your previous answer, so. Nah, because the crazy thing is, even if I am fighting for a little, they, it's always playing, they could be stringing me along so someone can shoot and snipe me. Oh, man, that's not too. Like you're saying, he probably wants you to do that shit too. You know what I'm saying? So he get the upper hand afterwards, so he got all that energy, like, oh, I got your ass. Yep. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm gonna crush him from the beginning. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. We good. All right. I was about to take a shot of hot sauce. Damn. One, one man got out. God, God. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Niggas is like, nah, I'm gonna crush my opponents from the beginning. It says live until 80 in poverty or live until 40 rich. I'm going 80 in poverty. Live because. until 80 in poverty. Yeah. Now nah, I'm good. I'm gonna take the rich because at least my 40 years was lit. As fuck, I gotta live not even forty, but double that bitch, <laughs> and no fucking money. That means I gotta go through all my shit, <laughs> paycheck to paycheck. At least I could, at least I could cut my life span in half and do everything I wanted to do. That is factual. We do have a point. There. And plus, nigga, we never die. We energy. So therefore, true. I, I ain't playing. I ain't playing. <laughs> That's all I could say. <laughs> Life is good, so I'm I'm going with fucking for you. I'm going with eighty. All right, so he going with blue. I'm going with red. Fuck. Hey, niggas, like nigga, I'd rather have a good life than have a fucking but... suffering of eighty eighty years. Then you gonna do eighty years of suffering? You in poverty? That means you have absolutely no shit. It ain't said about happiness. You're right. <laughs> so, nigga, you you fucking depressed, no money, and living <laughs> longer than forty years, not being rich. So, hey, therefore, but th- like like you said, I can live eighty years. I can meet some dope ass people, and when they die, shit. They I like, mean, I me. mean, yeah, but you still ain't got no fucking money to do anything really. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I just want to live eighty years. I just want to live eighty years. I, I don't give a fuck about living that damn long. As long as I say I want to live my life. <laughs> The free, the freest, the the free, the, 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 the free, yeah, the free that nigga said, <laughs> the longest, shit. Ooh. Only eat breakfast cereal. Or only eat pasta. I'm going it's pasta. Is noodles pasta? Yeah, anything that's like starch and stuff like that is pasta. I'm not, eat, I'm not eating both shit like that. That's milk. That's pure milk. It's well, it doesn't say you have to have milk in there. How you gonna use it? I mean, yeah, yeah, you can eat dry cereal. I don't want to eat fucking dry cereal. I'm going. <laughs> you know, that should be cut your gun sometimes. Nigga. True. And that's why I said, depending on what cereal I can. No, certain cereals I like do require milk, and I don't like drinking milk. So. And, and thing is, with pasta, you can mix with all types of stuff. You got Alfredo. You mm-hmm. got spaghetti. You got yep. macaroni and cheese. You got all types of shit. You got ramen. Cereal, you got raw and milk. <laughs> And if you want to put water in that bitch, I don't think it's delightful, <laughs> but hey. <laughs> you can't, though. It's not going to be good. Exactly. So, I'm yeah, I'm going with pasta. I, okay. Just for a simple... Okay, because I was going to say, milk does, you know, fill you up, woo, 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 but at the same time, not a lot of people can handle milk. Me, personally, yeah. I don't like drinking milk because it's basically cow pus and all that extraness. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the pasta. And besides, I like eating ramen. Like Thompson Tyler rant. Like Thompson Tyler rant. You know, see, milk ain't good for the body. Exactly. The niggas know what's up. They said, you ain't eating that nasty ass fucking cornflakes. You know what I'm saying? Life, cereal, them shit's good. Prevent World War II or win a life changing amount of money in the lottery. Um, nigga. You think I give a fuck about the World War II? <laughs> I'm just trying to prevent... I'm just trying to think of what would happen... What would be the outcome if I prevented World War II? Nothing. It's going to be the same thing. We still want it. <laughs> so, so even if you did prevent it, just nothing happened. It could wait, be worse. Wait, wait, wasn't World War II like, with Hitler and stuff like that? Yeah, I think it was weird. Yeah. I mean, we prevent still- World War II? I mean, I feel like... I wouldn't do that because that changed the, the times of history and it could be worse. Yeah. That, it could get Hitler time to even get his forces even stronger and he probably actually would conquer shit. Yeah, because time, because so, no, us people, we don't know what really time is about and know our, or what it was like to go back and then change something to come back. Mm-hmm. We don't know the true outcome and shit's a time we just guess. So, 
That's why I was like, preventing World War II, first of all, I wouldn't even be able to prevent shit. When a person being a person like me going back in them times, they're gonna think I'm a fucking witch or a witch. They're gonna try to burn me at the cross. Nah, I'm straight, fam. I'm just gonna win my money. Yep, you be <laughs> yeah, out, bro. Yep. yep, that's the same thing I was saying. That war shit ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> exactly. Even if I go try to meet up with the color, with the color people, they gonna look at me like, bro, what the fuck? Goodness gracious. Be a capitalist or be a communist. I- I'ma say already, I'm, I'm neither. Yeah. I'm but I guess I choose blue. Or flip a coin for it? Cause it's yeah, let's flip a coin. Blue, red. Oh no. I said blue is red. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, blue heads and red tails. That. Uh, well, let's look up what communist and capitalist mean before we. For sure, for sure. I feel holy feel about shit. A wealthy person who used money to invest in trade and industry for a profit in accordance with the principle of communist. Capitalism. Cap- Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make sure that people knew that you, you wasn't communist. Like, you said Pol- politi- politic- what? Political. What? Political theory different from what? Karl Marx? Karl Marx, I think. Karl Marx. The voting class war and leading to a social in which all properties is publicly owned and each people, each person work is paid according to their abilities and needs. Oh, so basically like how we count are right now. Okay. I'm like, I still don't understand all the technicalities about being a communist cabinet, so let's flip a coin on that one. Yeah. So blues heads and red tails. Um, I don't know which one. I'm whichever one, whichever it lands on, we gonna that's what we gonna pay. Yep. Heads. All righty then. Capitalists. Well, damn. Cause I feel like we good, <laughs> right? Cause I feel like if anything from those descriptions we just read, we are both of them anyway. We pre- oh yeah, <laughs> this nigga right. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Be- what kind of questions is this, bro? They they really try and do it. Yeah, I'm like, Muslim and a Jew. I feel like we shouldn't answer this because number one, I want to be me. That's number one. Number two, yeah, we just gonna skip this question right here. Skip. Yeah, bro, <laughs> I can't. I don't feel comfortable answering that question. I always say cold showers, I never feel anything cold. To be honest. I mean, you wish you get used to cold showers. Yeah. But at the same time, you want to feel cold because you don't want to be in a climate where you fucking freezing your ass off, but you don't know it could kill your ass. That or be in a place where you're always hot and you can never feel cold. I mean, so that's be like, that's a... Yep. I I go take, take the shower. shower. Yeah, okay, you get used to that. Yeah. Nick! <laughs> who the fuck? Bro, who is this? Who is doing this, bro? Bro, I understand y'all don't want to feel cold, but you going you, you, the point is you're going to feel hot. You're going to feel it, all the other uh, fucking feelings except cold. And I ain't trying to feel hot. You got me fucked up. Uh. Well. Oh. Let me up, Scotty. Exactly. Well, Beat me up, Scott. Pull me up, Pete. Pull me up, Pete. Yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Pete, what Might need something a little higher next time. Yep. <laughs> next time, probably get the wasabi. Yep. And I do have red. Who the took my wasabi? <laughs> We might have to look for the wasabi. My wasabi up. Well, how you want to do like two or three more? Yeah, we can do two, three more. I bet. If we want to hop on the next recording, mm-hmm. be a rock star, be a movie star. I, if I would be a rock star, but I wouldn't live the rock star lot style like yeah. most rock stars. So if any. Anything that be negating me living a rock star lifestyle, so I just be a movie star. Yeah, me too. Because I can fit, I can be in the Spider Man movies, I could be in Thor and stuff like that. Right? I can be in these movies. You can be a lot of things too. Mm hmm. 
win an Oscar or win a Nobel Prize. Ain't that the fucking same, honestly? No, Oscar is dealing with movies. A Nobel Peace Prize is doing something. You win a uh, thing for doing something for the benefit of humanity overall. Oh. I low key like I go Nobel Peace Prize because yeah, movie Oscars was cool, but you just not always guaranteed you gonna win that. You might your movie might get nominated, but it's not always chance you gonna get that Oscar or some shit. True, true, true. I go true, true too. Exactly. So I rather win a Nobel Peace Prize because that that lets them recognize that I had done something important. Big facts, big facts. And if black people agree, last one. Would be attractive, but get punched in the face every morning. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, after a while, I'm not going to be attractive. <laughs> so, uh, we were thinking the same day. I was like, well, if I'm getting punched every in the face every morning, I'm going to be ugly. Exactly. And I got to go to the pain to become ugly. I might just be ugly. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's easy. That was too easy. Right yeah, there. I might just be ugly. Well, <laughs> fucking goddamn. That's how you end up the video? Okay, bad. <laughs> fuck it. Niggas want to... Niggas want to get punched every day so they can be attracted? No. But you, you but you gonna have so many fucking knots and shit. Your ass gonna look. Y'all gonna have black eyes, missing teeth. You might well pull the whole spoon out, cause mm -hmm. that's the fine finale of this shit. Right? We get a big, big whop this time. That is fucking crazy. Niggas don't want to. Niggas don't want to be ugly. Shit, I don't know what they talking about. Shit, I was, uh, I'm ugly. Ugly. Right, ooh, 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 but ooh. I ain't getting punched in my face. What are you talking? About? I'm not getting punched in my face every morning. Yeah, it's a big ass load, man. Big ass guap. <laughs> Fucking pause. <laughs> yeah, I was, that's why I said guap. Big ass guap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna right here. Yeah, yeah. All right, because I'm take over. Out of y'all. <laughs> This is bashy channel now. Oh, nigga, I'm gonna put the outro in there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right three, it. two, one. Why is like, why does it taste like, like a juice? That's a juice. Uh -huh. You don't even, I ain't even felt the mood. Oh yeah, damn. Did my body use this now? Uh, I don't know, but. That beer kind of helped neutralize the shits. Probably, maybe. Oh my god, but I still can't believe niggas want to get punched in the face. To, to be attractive. Bro, you're not going to be attractive after a while, bro. Because you get punched in the face every morning. So every time you wake up, there's a person in there waiting for you to wake up. So they can, eh. No, how the hell you get in my house? <laughs> and that's another thing, too. You don't know who the fuck going to punch you in the morning time. You can wake up in the morning. You can be with your girlfriend or boyfriend, you be like, yeah. Next thing you know. Alright, I'll catch you in the next morning. Yeah, I should've thought of that, but I mean you could get some more benefits though. Because you being ugly, you ain't gonna get too much benefits if you're ugly. Yeah. You ain't gonna get too much benefits. And anyway tell us how much how many times you get punched. You say you get punched. In the face every morning. So that's something that's it's talking about one punch. So Damn shit, nah, but at the same time, if I'm getting, I'm punching whoever's punching me in the face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, I mean, I'm pun punching back. So damn, I, damn. We should, yeah, we didn't think about that that much. No, hey, did. fuck it, Bash, take it away, cuz. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> fuck this. I'm about to kick everybody from the fucking MC and do this shit myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm here chat. with you. I'm here with I you. I know you're in here. <laughs> fucking Yogi ain't sucking a goddamn invite. <laughs> fucking Bash, you leaving? Bro, I'm fucking dying. <laughs> fucking dying. I'm about to kick everybody the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sick of this shit, yo. Bye. Have a beautiful time.